Hello everybody. This is Steve English's Lynchpin CrossFit Gym. Probably should be called the Craigslist Gym because that's where I picked up most of my stuff. This also is in my garage and it doubles as storage, which you can see. So when you first walk in, I have a rower. It's not a Concept 2. It's a Norda track. Basically works the same way. It's a fan resistance, but it has a belt instead of a chain. It does not correlate to C2 rowers as far as calories and distance. Um, I kind of do some calculations and try to get it as close as I can. I think the stimulus is still the same and I got it for 200 bucks, um, but I'd love to replace it with a C2 if I find one. Also have a bench. I think it was something I actually brought new. I don't do that very often. And as you can see, I have the old school, old school style changeable dumbbells. Those are the one inch steel plates. I have a few different ones. I've got some set up now at 25s, 20s, and some 40s. Also have an old curl bar in the back. Here's the rack that came with this bench. I never use it. It's stored an extra bar and a, and a weight vest. I also got on Craigslist. I don't use it very much, I, honestly. Every once in a while for pull-ups or for step-ups. Got a weight tree. Came with some weights I bought on Craigslist a few years ago. Holds the one inch plates. I think I have about 600 pounds of the one inch plates. Two solid steel bars for one inch plates. So it's easy to change things up. I have a rack. Bought used on Craigslist for 200 bucks. The pull up bar at the top. Only downside to this is I can't kip. I can grab that bar standing flat-footed and I'm only 5'8", so it doesn't stick very far up. Um, I normally lift by myself those. I love having the catch bars. I do all kinds of squats in there and I also bench press inside there with the catch pins. I've rolled myself under, up from under too many bars over the years and I'm too old to do that anymore. Um, I grew up as a wrestler in high school. I had three teenage sons, two of them still wrestling in high school. So we have a 10 by 10 uh, wrestling mat here. Plus that's a five by seven uh, standing up in the corner, not being used. Um, we don't wrestle down here too much, but it is good for doing uh, stretching and calisthenic type stuff. We do a little bit of wrestling practice down here, but not very much. I got two Amazon med balls, one 10 pounder, one five pounder. It's not tall enough down here to do uh, wall balls. So usually I just do um, like med ball thrusters whenever workout calls for that. I do have an ab mat. It's another one inch bar. I got lucky just before COVID hit. I bought a Olympic lifting bar, new off of Amazon and a set of bumpers. So I think I have 300 pounds of bumpers. Got a little bit of extra steel weight so I can bump that up. About the highest I ever deadlift, three and a quarter. So I got plenty of weight for that. Got a few kettlebells. As you can see, there's some mirrors everywhere. I find these at the dumpster sometimes or on Craigslist for free. I like to watch when I lift to try to see if I'm going deep enough on squats and stuff like that. Do have a punching bag down here. It rarely gets used. But the base for it does, is a good holder for plates. Uh, they all stack up in there pretty good. And I have a, an assault type bike. The brand is Vitamaster. I paid 35 bucks off Craigslist to buy this off somebody. Um, again, it doesn't have all the, it's got a display, but it, it doesn't do everything to, that an assault bike does. It doesn't measure watts and things like that. Um, but I feel like it gives the same stimulus. So I try to just approximate out whatever the workout is and, and you um, do the same amount of calories as what I usually um, use as a metric on there. I've got stall mats, I bought a tractor supply. Believe it or not, back in the day, these were like 25 bucks a piece. Probably cost quite a bit more than that now. And I have one homemade box that goes uh, 
16, 24, and 30. Honestly, I wish I'd have built it with a 20. Um, that's the height I would much rather use these days. Usually I stand it up on the 24 and I set a 45-pound uh, a bumper down there just to bump me up three or four inches. The older I get, the less I jump. I usually do step-ups anyway. Anyway, like I said, this is, this is the CrossFit Craigslist gym. Just about everything in here I bought used, except for the bumpers. Uh, but it is effective. Wish I used it more. And uh, wish I got my kids down here using it more. The only other thing uh, over here standing up, we've got a few bands and jump ropes and stuff like that. And a speed bag that goes on the punch bag. All right, Lynchpin family, that's it.